Undertale by Toby Fox. A new scene begins with more puns than Frisk can handle. After a cute little scene of Frisk playing with gaster blasters, it is brought to Sans's attention that the kid he is dealing with is Chara, and the kid that is here in the save screen is the real Frisk. And the nightmares that Sans has been experiencing was this dead Sans's fault, that neither of them were supposed to exist like this. It was this Sans that watched the video of Papyrus being killed by the human. Sans wanted to make sure that the human really meant to kill Papyrus, but he was trying to deny the obvious, and he watched his own brother dust away. He decided to take matters into his own hands after watching Undyne die. He knew doing anything was pointless, seeing the reports of timelines start and end, stopping and starting again. He knew whatever he did, the timeline would be reset and everyone would forget almost everything but bits of the past. This Sans stated that if he let this continue, a week into the next timeline, it would end all other timelines forever and the anomaly had to be the cause of this. When this Sans was in the world, he had nothing else to lose after learning all of this, so why not do something risky? Using the determination that was in the true lab to fight against this powerful enemy. Determination is one hell of a drug. He was desperate, wanted to just kill the kid once, hoping to have enough determination to overpower the kid's determination enough to stop the resets and suffering for good. The kid died, sending him to the save screen. He thought he succeeded, but it didn't work out as planned. It looked like the world was resetting, so Sans needs to go back into the world, cutting the explanation short. Glitched Sans says he will try to speak to Sans right from his dreams, and there is one thing he needs to remember that Chara has possession of Frisk's body, and that the timeline was altered by killing Chara. Chara is now going to focus themselves on Sans. The playing field has changed, because Chara now has a new interest in the world. If Sans fails to keep Chara interested in causing more suffering, all existence will end for everyone. It's suffer by the hands of Chara, or everyone stops existing. Before Sans goes back into the world, Glitched Sans thanks him for being good to Papyrus, before snapping Sans back into the world. Sans pops back into the world, bouncing from the couch to the floor. They go get some rest, and a brand new day begins. Lowey talks to Sans about the situation he is in, he mentions that Chara will have Sans go through hell for approaching Chara about the resets. Flowey is only helping so he can keep existing. The ruins door opens, and Chara and Toriel are the ones that come from behind the door. 